guys, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to we're make the two zoetrope. types of power tools to make this zoetrope. We're gonna be using a drill and we're gonna be using a router. We're gonna be using two different routers. We're gonna use this small handheld router and we're also gonna be using a router, a larger router that I um, attached Little underneath this table. In the table and the router bit is poking through the top. Okay, and the drill um, has a very special bit on it. It's called a Forstner bit. It's a 3 8 of an inch Forstner bit. And we're going to drill a hole through our boards here in a moment. All right, so follow along with me. The easiest way to find the center of a square, it's really simple. Follow along here. Watch as I do this. Each one of you is going to get a board just like this. The first thing you need to do is get a ruler and a pencil and put the ruler at the end of each point of the square now we know that this is the center of the square and this is where we need to drill a hole. Alright the next thing we need to do is drill a hole in the center of our MDF Remember, we're using the 3 eighths of an inch Forstner bit. Okay, watch me. Okay, now that we have the hole in the middle of the MDF here, we need to round it out. We're actually going to use this hole to help us do that. I've attached a 3 8 of an inch dowel rod to the table and it fits perfectly right through um, this hole in your board. So what we do is we position the board right above the router bit and not go all the way. We're going to hold it a little above the router bit. So we turn on the router and we push the board down. Now we have a perfectly round MDF board here and a hole right in the center of it. Next step is to use the small handheld router. Let me show you what we're going to do with that. All right, now we're going to feed the dowel rod through our round cut piece of MDF. One more time. And we're going to take the small handheld router and attach it to the dowel rod as well. Turn it on, press it down. And that's it. Now I want to share with you guys a little bit about the attachment that I created for this handheld router. It's made on MDF, just like your boards are. And I started with a uh, piece of paper. I laid it on top of the MDF and I uh, traced around it and cut out the MDF. Drilled some holes in it, screwed some screws into it, and voila, we have a perfect little jig for our project. After we've cut out our board here, we need to spray it black. So after you spray paint your 
four boards and glue the marble on the bottom. The next step is just to make this top part, which is really easy, and we'll do that in class. I'll show you how to do that, not a big deal. And then you can take different pictures and put them on the inside of the zoetrope and create the illusion of motion, like this. <laughs> 